All right. Uh, welcome, everyone. My name is Alex Apian, and I uh, own and operate <laughs> the Avian Financial Group. Actually, I think of myself as the head servant, right? So um, I am excited to be with you tonight to share with you our opportunity, our business, and the thing I've been doing the last 22 years. <laughs> yes, I've been only doing this the last 22 years. I've not hopped from one program to another program to another program. I've been just doing this. And uh, it's been a wild ride. I mean, it's how I've raised my children, how I've given them the example. And um, I just absolutely love the business. I love what it's done for me and my family. And I love what it's done for some of my best friends, you know, helping them make seven figures. Let's, can you imagine that? Helping your best friends make seven figures of income in a year you know, that's just blows me away when I think about the opportunity, right, to help people make that kind of money. It's really insane. I've helped people quit their jobs. I've helped people bring their wives home from work. I've helped people send their kids to college, to a good college. <laughs> you know, not a, you know, not a reasonable facsimile. You know, what else? I've, I mean, there's some cool things. I mean, I've, I've I'm not going to take credit. I mean, I've had it a hand in it. Let's just say that I've had hand in it. And, you know, when I really am honest, you know, it's just like God has used me as an instrument to, to really use the business to help these people. And, um, and maybe you're one of those people, maybe you're one of those people that we can help you achieve whatever, whatever it is you're looking for, you know, and, and uh, that's why I'm here. Okay. So, you know, when I think of myself as a head servant, I really do think of myself like that, that, I'm here to serve you if you decide to join us and you decide that this might be a good program for you. So I'm going to try to keep this short and simple. I'm not going to try to give you any kind of, you know, fluff or anything. I'll tell you what I believe in. That's, that's one thing for sure. I think it'd, it'd probably be real smart for you to know where I come from and what, I, what I'm about and what our business is about, what the Even Financial Group is about, you know, because... I will be the one helping you and my team, which are really just kind of uh, an extension of me. Uh, they all have their own unique personalities, which thank God <laughs> they're not like me. But whoever invited you tonight, um, obviously cared enough about you to you know, share this business with you. And um, if it is something for you, great. If it's not, great. I mean, we just would like for you to give, give us a look and see if this might be a good good thing for you and your family. Um, at the very least, you'll know that um, we care about the people we bring on board and we're going to help them become successful. And then we're going to show you tonight the whole framework behind what it is we do. Okay. So that is the game plan. And uh, um, so let's bring up my PowerPoint. I am not going to, I'm going to just kind of go over it, but I'm not going to go over it in excruciating detail. I think what you're going to, you're going to see a lot of stuff, but I'm not going to explain a lot of stuff because I don't think that's very helpful. I think if you want to, I think at the end of this, you're going to get a feel. I mean, that's all we really want. You just get a feel for us and for this. And if it does make sense, then get with the person that invited you to drill down into the nitty gritty, into the specifics. So, um, so I'm just going to cover an overall, give you a Kind of a sense of um, what we do. So, this is my family. This is really crazy. This is uh, my son, oldest son, Athen. I uh, graduated from University of Cincinnati, and now he's got a pilot training day. He's going into the Air Force. Well, he's in the Air Force now, and he's going to be a um, Air Force pilot. He's going to pilot training on January tenth. We just found out today, actually, his report date's January 10th, so we cannot be more excited for him. I mean, imagine he's graduated sometime in end of May, and all this time he's been waiting for his start date. So now he's official. So it's cool because he's, you know, he's got all this time till after Christmas, and then he reports out to Vance Air Force Base for pilot training. So we're, we're just fantastically excited. I look at my kids, man. My youngest daughter on the left. Isabel, she just turned, she turned 18. She graduated from high school. So now she's living in a house with six other girls in, at, at, right outside University of Cincinnati. 
So we're really empty nesters now, which is really weird. So I think about the last 22 years I've been doing a business really has been during well, while we're raising our kids. And this business has been fantastic for raising children. So if you have kids, this is the best business, one of the best businesses, because you'll have the opportunity to be independent and be able to work your business around your family life. What a concept. You know, it's just, I don't know, it was just very much a blessing that I was able to get into this and be able to do that, you know, give my kids my time and attention and then be able to afford to send them to college, afford to pursue activities and not let money be a limiting factor. And again, thank God, Andy Albright, who brought me in the business and, and, you know, God in heaven, who allowed the insurance business to be the source of, you know, the opportunity. So anyway, so I, I don't know what your family means to you, but if it, you know, is why is if it's what motivates you, what pushes you, man, I think this opportunity is one of the best opportunities for being a full-time dad, full-time mom, honestly, to your children and letting the business side take a back seat to your priorities with your family. So let's move on. I don't want this to take too long, so I'm starting to get verbose here, so I apologize. It's already 8.07. I don't want to take any longer than I need to. Okay, so um, our culture. So I th culture is really important because I think at the end of the day, man, you got to know who are the people you're going to be in business with? Who are, the, who are the people that you're going to place your trust in to help you, right? Are they going to be there for you? Do they care about you? Right. And and so the culture slide, I think if I spent the rest of the time on this, I think you'd really know if this might be the right group of people to partner with. Right. So let's talk about that specifically. So we're about service first. Right. Mission versus commission. And our and our service is to serve our clients, like give them the best insurance product that they're looking for, the best retirement advice using life insurance vehicles. We're going to give them everything that we got through our myriad of products and services. And we're going to focus on what their needs are, not on what our commission is going to be, right? We are paid based on the value that we add to other people, right? It's merely a reflection of how much value that we add to our clients out there. So we believe in service first. The next one is we believe in personal development, right? We are going to help you become the best version of yourself, the best insurance agent, and even beyond that, the best person you can be so that you can serve your clients the best and you have the right intent when you're sitting down with your client. I mean, we're just, we're all about that. So we're gonna do everything we can to help you become the best person that you can be. Third one is we have a family team environment. It's more of a family. And we are a team, okay, where you matter. It doesn't matter if you are a part-time agent, full-time agent, whether you do 40,000 a month in premium, or if you do 5,000 a month in premium, every single one of you is important to us to help. Now, we're not gonna, you know, um, give all our time to the top producers. Typically, the top producers really don't need a lot of our time. You know, we're gonna help everybody, okay? so. You matter to us. And then what is this whole thing about? You know, I mean, I don't want to talk all about motherhood and apple pie. I'm going to talk about, yes, this is a business. This is a real way to make fantastic income on your terms, right? That you can control, that you are, you know, in the driver's seat and you, you're surrounded by everyone in my team and the Alliance and Integrity Marketing to help you. We're going to provide you the right environment for you to grow as long as you're willing to work and reach up for help because, you know, we can't read your mind, but we certainly, when you call us, we're going to be there for you. If we can't pick up the phone, we're going to return your call because like I said, you matter and it's up to us to help you achieve, you know, freedom, the time and money that you're looking for. Okay. Then finally, if I had to kind of put a capstone to this whole culture, talk and that's really alignment we believe in god family and business okay we believe in serving 
all three at, at once. Okay, it's not one versus the other. It's all three together. You know, we don't see that spending our time in our business is forsaking what God wants us to do and forsaking our family, right? But at the same time, serving God will allow us to serve our family, right? And to serve our business because we've got our minds right. We've got our hearts right. So it all works together. It's like the triangle of our logo. I think about the triangles being God, family, and our business. And that's kind of how we look at everything. So here are the companies that we are, we represent. We've got like 27 life and annuity carriers, like 13, 14 Medicare companies, um, just a variety of products and services, right? So we're not locked into one product, right? We have the ability to help our clients with anything um, that is what they're looking for in the life insurance, annuities, Medicare, whatever it, is, whatever it is, we can find them the right product that will fit them and not try to shoehorn them into something that, because it's the only thing we have, right? We have such a overlapping of products we can really hone in on exactly what's gonna fit the client. Leads, okay, we get this all the time, man. Everyone needs leads. I needed leads when I got in 22 years ago, and thank God there was a lead program because I could only get so far with my own family and friends, okay? You know, we probably kind of burned those bridges, you know, with all the promotions and things that we're doing for our kids, you know? So thank God we had a lead program when I got started. We st I started with direct mail leads, but since then we've morphed into internet search leads and really cool hot transfer leads, and next universal life leads. Facebook leads, telemarketing leads, Medicare leads. And then we've gotten into some other platforms that are in amazing as far as lead generation, right? And we've, we've really put together a program so that you can move away from having to invest in leads to where your business is truly an independent business based on an unlimited referral system um, because of a, a couple of other business focuses that we're doing that just our agency is doing, honestly. And I can't be more excited about that, where you will no longer have to be dependent on leads, man. Your business will be self-sustaining with referrals that just come out your ears. In fact, you're gonna have to limit how much you do this other thing in order to be able to get to all the people that need life insurance and retirement planning products. So we're just very fired up about that. And that's something very unique to us that you're not going to find out there even in the alliance but certainly not out there in the imo world of you know all those three letter and five letter imo right so i think we have a tremendous advantage with the avian financial group and that's something that i'm not going to get into now because i'll get all fired up and excited i'll be here for an hour just you know bragging on it but um anyway that's something to delve into later and actually that's what this slide is based on Writing larger life cases, you know, the average final expense case runs about seven, 800 annual premium per year. With these other thrusts and these other focus areas that we are pursuing, the average premiums are like 25 grand, man, up to 100,000 annual premium cases. We're talking true large case premiums. So we're gonna, whether you're brand new or whether you have insurance background, we are going to teach you how to move from these smaller, onesie twosie, you know, IUL cases to large case insurance. And we're, we got some of the best people in the industry teaching us this. In fact, one of the top guys with one of our carriers wrote $1.4 million in annual premium. So he's one of our mentors in this business for us that we're pursuing. So that's something that, um, you know, we can get into later, but um, something that I just, very fired up about. So let's talk about the money opportunity, because that's why you're here, right? Show me the money. So let's talk purely from a personal producer standpoint. Let's say you never want to build an agency and you just want to sell life insurance, part-time, full-time, whatever time. These numbers I'm going to show you are very conservative when it comes to how many applications you need to write. In other words, your mileage will vary, but it should vary on the upper end. So when I show you these numbers, I'm a, I got my master's in economics, okay? I'm a numbers nerd. And so I show you these submitted numbers 
And then the income I show takes out all the placement persistency, all those, all those fancy insurance words to really tell you that, no kidding, this is what you're going to make if you submit this many policy applications every week. Okay, so let's jump in and share what that's about. So I got my buddy Juan here. He's working, let's say he's working five days a week. And let's say he's working part time. Let's see, he does one policy a day. Maybe he does a couple, three on a Saturday, and then you know two other policies during the week at night when he gets home. So this is really, truly a part time opportunity. And um, so let's say he's at uh, the eighty five percent commission rate. He'll make again when you take out placement persistency, all the numbers. He'll really make about twenty one hundred a week. Okay. Let's say he works 48 weeks a year, takes four weeks off for good behavior. So you're looking about 85,680 for as a part-timer. Okay. Like seriously, I'm not kidding. And then there's renewal income too. So this takes into account all the permanent policies as a percentage of what Juan will do with this five applications a week. A portion of those will be permanent policies where we're going to earn renewals. And so the total value, and we just cap the renewals at 20 years, and not all the renewals are going to keep going. So we've really made this number very conservative as far as what the renewals are. So over the next 20 years, once you put in every week, he does five apps a week, he should lay in about $750 of renewals over the next 20 years, and he keeps adding those layers on. So when you add up the amount of value of renewals, it'll be another 30000 so really on a part-time basis, which is crazy when you think about it, he's going to have about 85,000 in first year income, about 30,000 in renewal study of value in the renewals. So that's pretty cool. So we do have a producer's promotion guideline and you can see it here. I'm not going to go into any detail here, but I'm going to show you, you know, a couple points along the way, midway through here, let's say um, Juan is doing 16 apps a week so he goes from five to 16 so now he's full-time in the business right and his commission income you can see right there is he'll make easily 275,000 a year he's going to lay in almost 100 grand in renewals every year value of renewals and he's doing about 40,000 of issue pay premium a month at the 100 percent contract let's go to the top level so if someone gets to the 120 they're going to do about 28 life applications a week these guys are mega full time and guys and gals um, doing 70,000 a month. So they're going to make half a million dollars a year, first year income. And then the value of the renewals, can you imagine laying in 170,000 worth of renewals in the next 20 years, every year they do this. This is, could be a tremendous retirement program for you. And this is for the people that want to work hard, right? So you want to work hard, you're going to make a lot of money. If you don't want to work hard, you're going to make little money. Okay. Maybe that's all you want to do. Maybe all you want to do is part-time income. Maybe you're happy with your job and you're happy making part-time income. God bless you, man. We're going to help you regardless if you want to be part-time or full-time. All right. All right. So let's get off that and let's talk about the agency building opportunity and show you really how cool this is. And really the way I looked at agency building, I mean, I didn't want to be a Ned Ryerson, right? <laughs> Ned Ryerson, like from Groundhog's Day, where, you know, the three foot rule, anyone's in three foot, you're going to shake their hands and, and see if you can do a, a life insurance policy on them. You know, I, I thought for me down the road, I didn't see myself being full time in insurance forever, right? I can't imagine myself when I'm 80 years old on a walker going up to someone's house selling insurance. I wanted an exit strategy from being a full time producer. And fortunately, in the insurance industry with what we do, we have that opportunity building an agency, being able to build override income that can reduce our requirement to sell and ease our way out of the full-time sales and into pure agency building, okay? So let me show you how that works. And again, there's a lot of concepts here that I'm going to kind of gloss over, okay? Um, but I'm going to highlight some things. So a lot of people, when you get into the agency building side, they want to know, well, how, what makes you guys different? Why should I join you? 
building an agency. And I'm just going to give you a few things that, you know, may or may not may may or may not make sense to you because maybe you're brand new to insurance. But these are real differences that I promise you. All those IMOs out there do not have these advantages. You know, one advantage is you get to override your agents. Make in other words, making a uh, residual override income on your agent's production, you can make that in any state in the country without you having to personally be getting your non-resident license in that state. Before you had to, now you don't, which can be a tremendous advantage when you're building a business all over the country from a cost standpoint, right? The other thing too is you don't have to be contracted with all the carriers that your agents are writing. You know, you can have agents that are writing the crap out of Medicare policies in Florida, but you're not contracted with any of those Medicare companies, you're still gonna earn all your overrides on all those companies that they write. That's very cool. All those other companies, IMOs out there, they don't, they won't allow you to do that. Oh, this is really cool. So agents worry about building an agency because they're gonna suck up any chargebacks that you know their agents write. What's really cool in our system is that you're not going to worry about that because we pull all the commissions that agents are receiving on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and we make sure all the chargebacks are paid off first before the agent gets their commissions. So you're never going to have to worry about eating someone's chargebacks if they leave the company. Okay. All right. And then this is really cool. You get to override your agent's renewals. Most of the companies out there let you override your agents for your income, but not the renewals. Here, you get to also override the renewals. It's a tremendous source of income. And can you imagine making re renewals on renewals, right? Overrides on renewals is pretty cool. So we do have a, this really fancy looking promotion guideline chart, okay? I'm going to leave that to later. You know, if you should decide to join us or have a conversation, we can talk about how to do that. But I'm going to just give you examples. Okay, and I'm going to show you my buddy Juan here, purely part-time, three sales a week, okay? He's only selling on the weekends on Saturday. He sells three sales on a Saturday, spends five days a week working his job, and Sunday he spends with his family, you know, worshiping and spending time with his family. So he just does three sales a week on Saturday. So do you have like 10 hours a week to be able to do this? I don't know, but Juan does here. And let's just show him at a 75% commission rate. He's going to make almost uh, 49000 a year in first year commission. And he's going to make about $9,360 in renewals. Not bad for a part-time opportunity, which is more of a part-part-time, just working on a Saturday. That's pretty cool. So let's talk about Juan. He wants to build an agency. So Juan brings on smiley girl stella and then smiley girl brings on her sixth grade teacher martha so these agents that juan has brought on in his business are also doing three sales a week they're also working on i don't know maybe doing one sale you know or two sales during the week in the evenings and then another sale on saturday again three sales a week all of them one gets to the 85% agency manager level. So let's look at what his income is. So he's going to make 55,896 a year in first year income. He's also going to make an override on his business of 13,000 a year. So his total um, his total income will be 69,000 a year first year income. And then his renewals, you're looking at a total of 13,000 in renewals. So that's pretty cool right he's only got three other people in his group doing what he's doing and now his income moves up i mean what kind of part-time opportunity can you make 69 grand a year working 10 hours a week that's pretty good so let's say one expands his business he brings on another agent zeus and then smiley gold brings on some people and then stella brings on one person so smiley girls now at the agency manager level that Juan was at the slide before Juan now is a regional manager now let's take a look at his, his income he's making 62,000 a year on his personal business 
On the Elverice, he's making 59,000 a year. So now he's making 121,656. And then his renewals, he's making another 23,000 in renewals. Again, what's Juan doing? Juan's making three sales a week. And then all those people are doing three sales a week. No one's gone full time yet. No one's even gone part time because everyone's still part part time. Okay. <laughs> but I'm just showing you how this can scale with a bunch of part timers. It's pretty amazing to me. Okay. So we have this thing called the globe bonus. I'm just going to explain it like this. If someone has this kind of a business and they have someone down the line from them that has that same style of business, they're going to earn an 80, an 8% 8 override called the globe bonus on them. And you, you see here, they're both at the 90% commission rate. Yes, they'll still make an 8% override. So this is where you don't have to worry about your downline passing you up if you're building a business, right? So this is pretty cool. And then we pay this globe bonus down to seven generations. If you found people that found people that found people, it's a tremendous amount of income and you don't got to worry about anyone passing you up. So let's show you what that looks like. So Juan has Smiley Girl, who's at the level that he was at the slide before. He makes a 10% override on that organization plus an 8% glow. And then Smiley Girl's at the agency manager level. So he makes an override on her, makes a 20% override on her. And then on Zeus, he makes 30% override. So let's see what the total income looks like. So he's going to make 69,000 on his business. He's at the 105% commission rate at the VP level. He's going to make 138,000 in overrides. Another 42,000 in glove bonuses. Now you're looking at 249,000. And then his renewal income is pretty outrageous. Another 47,000. So look, you don't got to understand all the details. Just understand this. This business works when you find people that want to find people. And you find people that want to at least work part-time, be able to do three sales a week, right? Can you imagine working 10 hours a week and now you're making 249,000 and 47,000 in renewals. I mean, who does that on a part-time basis? Well, you definitely can do it here. So let's show you that globe bonus. And let's say one was able to build just two organizations under him down to seven generations. So he's going to make 8% on the first level of that group, 5%, 4%, 2, 2, 1, 1. And he doesn't care what contract levels they are at because he's always going to receive this bonus. So now you're looking at his total income is going to be over a million dollars a year and his renewals are going to be 200,000 a year. Now look, you don't have to believe that you can do that, right? You don't have to believe you can do that. All you have to believe is can you write three applications a week submitted? Can you at least do three applications a week? And do you think you could find out of 350 million Americans, other people that need to make money and can do three applications a week? I'm not, I'm not talking about somebody who do 40, 40 a week, because we have people that do 40 appointments a week. Can you make three sales a week, right? That's what all this is based on. So I got one minute left. Okay, so let's finish up with this. What do we stand for? Okay, so this is really where the rubber meets the road with the Avian Financial Group. And I think this is, you know, really what you should care about, my opinion. We believe in serving. So Matthew 23, 11, the greatest among you will be your servant. And we believe in that servant leadership mode in serving families. We believe in doing the right thing every time, all the time, Luke 6, 38. Given will be given to you, good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, and we poured into your lap. For the measure you use will be measured to you, right? So it's treating people as you would have, um, we, as you would like to be treated, the golden rule. Perseverance, man. Galatians 6, 9, let's not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we'll reap a harvest if we do not give up. We are going to teach you perseverance. We're going to teach you how to get your mind right and keep your mind right. Because, you know, look, 100% commission isn't all, you know, mother heard an apple pie. It isn't joyful all the time. You know, you're going to go through some rough spots. That's just the nature of it, right? And you're going to get huge commission checks too. 
So we talk about staying right in the middle lane. Don't get too excited. Don't get too depressed because you know that the numbers work if you work the numbers. And that's the beauty of this business, man. We'll even keep your priorities right. Matthew 22, 36 and 40. What's the greatest commandment? Love your Lord, your God, with all your heart, soul, mind and strength, and then love your neighbor as yourself. So we believe in priorities. And finally, the end game, Matthew 25, 23. I'm a fan of Matthew, if you hadn't noticed. I want to hear at the end of my life, well done, good and faithful servant. And um, I know this life is a short drop in the ocean of eternity. So we got to make hay while the sun is shining, man. We got to help people. We got to help you. If you decide to join us, that is our mission. That is what we care about. Um, and if you want to talk to me direct, man, take my information down. I don't care if you call me. I will pick up the phone if I can answer or return a call. If you want to say, is this the real deal? I'll tell you what I think. I'll tell you what I've experienced personally. You know, whatever question you have, I don't mind. I don't care who invited you. You know, the buck stops here with me, man. And um, so that is it. I am two minutes over. I apologize. Although I did advertise 835. So I am actually maybe three, three minutes under. <laughs> Anyway, gang, I appreciate you being on. I hope I've given you a little bit of hope. I hope I've given you at least some enough information for you to decide if you want to continue getting more information with us. And if you do, ask the person that invited you to set up a time with them, you know, and um, ask questions. Okay. And I hope we've given you enough to maybe make you think that this is not for you. Okay. Because look, we just want what God wants for you in your life. And if it's with us, then we're going to give you everything we got. If it's not, then we pray that you find the right program for you because our program is not for everybody. Okay. So in the end, man, it's whatever God wants you to do. And I'm all for that. So thanks for being on here. I appreciate it. And 8.33. So I'll let you off two minutes early. God bless everybody. Alex Avian, Avian Financial Group. I am out. God bless. Take care.